New Horizons Mission HQ. Scientists have been waiting patiently for this moment for nearly a decade. In the shadowy fringes of our cosmic backyard, an enigma long veiled emerges. Pluto, once just a distant speck of intrigue, now holds the world in rapt attention. Newly released photos from NASA's archives pull back the curtain on its clandestine secrets. But what exactly do they reveal? Could there truly be signs of alien existence or perhaps something even more perplexing. Two questions burn in everyone's mind. Why were these images hidden for so long? And why are they now making top scientists lose sleep? Even today, much of the data from the flyby, between 35 and 40%, is still up on the spacecraft and no human being has seen it. We don't know what discoveries will be in them. Dive with us into Pluto's mysteries and uncover answers that have been waiting in the dark, begging to be known. In a realm far beyond the reach of Neptune's power lies the mysterious and icy territory of the Kuiper Belt. Here, amidst a band of rocky and icy bodies, floats the celestial marvel that was once our solar system's ninth planet, Pluto. But today, it stands as the most massive known dwarf planet, surrounded by cosmic neighbors and colossal comets with diameters surpassing 100 kilometers. Pluto's story is as enigmatic as the distant world itself. The debate surrounding Pluto's status as a planet has been a contentious and evolving topic within the field of astronomy for several years. The controversy stems from changing definitions of what constitutes a planet and the discovery of other celestial bodies in Pluto's vicinity. In 2006, the International Astronomical Union IAU, redefined the criteria for classifying celestial objects as planets. According to the new definition, a celestial body must meet three criteria to be considered a planet. It must orbit the Sun, be spherical in shape due to its own gravity, and it must have cleared its orbital neighborhood of other debris. Pluto met the first two criteria but failed the third, as it shares its orbit with other objects in the Kuiper Belt. As a result, Pluto was reclassified as a dwarf planet. This reclassification sparked a heated debate among scientists, educators, and the general public. Many argued that Pluto should retain its planetary status, citing its historical significance as the ninth planet in our solar system, and the emotional attachment people had developed for it. They believed that the IAU's criteria were too restrictive, and that Pluto's unique qualities justified its continued classification as a planet. On the other side of the debate, Proponents of the IAU's definition argued that it was important to have clear and specific criteria for classifying planets to avoid confusion. They also pointed out that Pluto's reclassification was consistent with the evolving understanding of our solar system and the discovery of other Pluto-like objects in the Kuiper Belt. Since then, the debate has persisted, with ongoing discussions about whether the definition of a planet should be revised to accommodate Pluto and similar objects or whether Pluto should be accepted as a dwarf planet under the current criteria. This controversy highlights the dynamic nature of scientific classification and the ever-evolving understanding of our celestial neighborhood. But did you know the seeds of Pluto's story were sown long before this controversy? Back in 1905, American astronomer Percival Lowell had a hunch about Pluto's existence. While observing Uranus and Neptune, he detected peculiarities in their orbital dances. Could there be an unseen entity, a hidden celestial body, influencing them from the shadows? Lowell was on a quest, making predictions in 1915 about where this hidden marvel might be, but fate had other plans. Lowell would never witness Pluto's unveiling on the canvas of our universe. That honor went to Clyde Tombaugh, who in 1930, working meticulously at the Lowell Observatory, brought Pluto into the limelight. His discovery was a tribute not just to Lowell's foresight, but also to countless theories from the astronomical community. Yet one of the most captivating aspects of Pluto's tale lies in its very name. Contrary to what one might think, the name Pluto wasn't a brainchild of erudite scientists. It emerged from the imagination of an 11-year-old British girl, Venetia Burney. This young girl whispered her suggestion into her grandfather's ear, and the idea traveled all the way to Lowell Observatory. The title Pluto is a nod to the Roman deity of the underworld. Intriguingly, this choice beautifully aligns with Percival Lowell's initials, making it a poetic blend of myth 
legacy, and chance. Pluto's chilling surface, which plunges to a staggering minus 375 to minus 400 degrees Fahrenheit, ranks as one of the solar system's coldest enigmas. But there's more. Pluto's core, composed primarily of rock and ice, generates heat through several mechanisms. One of the primary sources of this internal heat is the decay of radioactive elements, like uranium, thorium, and potassium, embedded in the rocky core. As these isotopes naturally decay, they release energy in the form of heat. This radioactive decay has been ongoing since Pluto's formation, providing a steady source of warmth over billions of years. Additionally, the phase transitions within the ice can also produce heat. As substances transition from one phase to another, for instance, from a solid to a liquid, latent heat is either absorbed or released. On Pluto, the slow crystallization of certain ices, or the freezing of subsurface reservoirs of liquid, can lead to the release of latent heat. This adds to the heat generated from radioactive decay contributing to the overall warmth of Pluto's interior. Gravitational energy is another interesting factor worth considering. In the early days of the solar system, many celestial bodies, including Pluto, underwent processes of differentiation. This means that heavier elements sank to the center while lighter materials floated to the surface, essentially sorting the planet's composition by density. This rearrangement of material due to gravity released potential energy as heat, which was initially a significant source of warmth for Pluto. While this process is largely in the past, the residual heat from these early days may still contribute to Pluto's present-day internal temperature. Tidal forces, though minor for Pluto compared to some other celestial bodies, could also contribute some heat. As Pluto and its moon Charon are tidally locked and orbit each other closely, there's a transfer of energy between them. The gravitational interactions cause minor distortions in their shapes, generating friction and thereby producing heat. However, compared to the other mentioned sources, tidal heating's contribution to Pluto's internal heat is relatively small. In combination, these processes ensure that Pluto, despite its frigid exterior and its vast distance from the Sun, maintains some internal warmth. This heat plays a role in shaping its geological and atmospheric processes, making Pluto a dynamic and intriguing world in the outer reaches of our solar system. But there's yet more to talk about this strange planet. Its appearance, scarred and unyielding, fuels speculations about its age. Could the frosty expanse hint at an ancient past, older than we ever imagined? The secrets it holds might be colder than its temperature. As Pluto, this celestial enigma, sits at an awe-inspiring 40 astronomical units away from our radiant sun, one has to wonder, how did we even spot it? It's none other than our Hubble Space Telescope. The Hubble Space Telescope, since its launch in 1990, has provided us with breathtaking images of distant cosmic phenomena. However, when it comes to Pluto, its images, though superior to ground-based telescopes, aren't as clear as those from dedicated missions like New Horizons. Hubble's images of Pluto give general color and light variations, offering glimpses into its atmosphere and possible surface features. Yet the full details of Pluto's landscape were most vividly unveiled by New Horizons' close flyby in 2015. But let us first talk about Pluto itself. Journeying across our solar system, Pluto traces an extraordinary path around our Sun. Its voyage isn't a swift one taking 248 Earth years to complete just one celestial round. Although this may seem like an eternity, consider Pluto's own perspective. Measuring only 1188 kilometers in radius, it's dwarfed, not just by the colossal planets, but even by some of their moons. In fact, our very own moon outshines Pluto in size. Pluto's mass is another aspect that raises eyebrows. It's a mere 18 times the mass of our moon. This trait makes it more akin to tiny cosmic beings like Eris, Sedna, and Ceres than to the massive giants of our solar system. And this is why, in 2006, Pluto was rebranded as a dwarf planet. But don't let that title fool you. Its story is anything but ordinary. In 1989, Pluto approached the Sun, coming as close as 29.7 times the distance between Earth and the Sun. 
Picture it as a brief, warm sojourn to a sun-kissed beach. Yet, Pluto doesn't stay. It continues its journey, driving further into the cold unknown. By 2113, it will be almost 49.3 times our Earth-Sun distance, akin to taking a long, chilly detour. From our vantage point, Pluto is the silent wanderer of the cosmos, its features obscured even when magnified by the potent lens of the Hubble. But it seems that our curiosity knows no bounds, as in 2006, humanity launched New Horizons, a spaceship with a grand quest, to visit Pluto. For nine and a half years, it traveled across the solar system, snapping breathtaking shots of Jupiter before finally, in 2015, reaching its ultimate destination, the mysterious realm of Pluto. Unveiling a world that had guarded its secrets for ages, New Horizons presented a fresh perspective on Pluto. Through its eyes, we glimpsed a world of intrigue, one that beckons us to keep exploring the great unknown. This almost felt like a massive digital postcard, filled with snapshots of a world unlike any other, finally reaching us after a whole year. Pluto wasn't your regular celestial object. It seemed like a multi-layered cosmic desert. At its core, a dense sphere around 1,700 kilometers wide, melding icy water and rocks together. Enveloping this core is a layer of ice, approximately 300 kilometers thick. Now this isn't just stagnant ice, it's believed to be in motion, reminiscent of Earth's shifting tectonic plates. And the top layer, a crispy crust of frozen gases, nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide, giving Pluto its distinct character. But what truly titillates the imagination is what could be hiding beneath these layers. Rumor has it, nestled below that icy cover could be a salty, toxic ocean imbued with dissolved ammonia, an underworld cloaked in mystery where unsolved phenomena could be playing out. The face of Pluto itself hides clues to its secrets. The Tombaugh Regio, affectionately called the Heart, is impossible to miss. It's as if the universe carved out a massive frozen valentine just for us, covering about 2,300 kilometers or a quarter of Pluto's surface. But this heart isn't uniform. On its western side, the Sputnik Planitia stretches out, a smooth, light plain spanning 1,492 kilometers. An elevation map of this region tells tales of a sweeping lowland, showcasing the contrasting landscapes that Pluto boasts. Within these terrains, Temperatures plunge to a shiver-inducing 213 degrees Celsius below zero, or 60 Kelvin. Yet even in this frigid environment, Pluto keeps revealing wonders. The heart, the Tombaugh Regio, with its icy cloak, stands as a testament to Pluto's allure, a riddle waiting to be deciphered in the vast cosmic theater. This is a realm swathed in an icy blanket, so radiant that it can bounce back nearly 90% of the sunlight it receives. This otherworldly sheen isn't just any ice. It's a lustrous mix of frozen nitrogen, carbon monoxide, and solid methane. Like a stage lit up for a grand performance, this shimmering landscape glows with a ghostly allure, making Pluto seem like a realm plucked from legends. Now, draw your gaze to the heart-shaped region known as Tomba Regio. This isn't merely an icy wonder. Its surface is almost free from craters, hinting at its young age in the geological timeline. Whispered among astronomers is a tale that around 100 million years ago, Pluto suffered a massive collision with another celestial behemoth. The aftermath? A gigantic crater that would eventually cradle Pluto's enigmatic inner ocean. But it seems that nature had another plan. This ocean quickly froze, giving birth to the icy plains that stretch across Tombaugh Regio. If one could walk upon this frozen frontier, they'd find vast, flat expanses, akin to enormous icy pancakes, spanning 20 to 30 kilometers. Along their fringes, gentle bumps and hollows dance, echoing the patterns water makes when it boils. It's as if the land itself narrates Pluto's chilly past, letting us leaf through its ancient tales one icy page after another. But Tombaugh Regio isn't just a land of icy plains. Enveloping this region are majestic mountain ranges that add to its mystery. To the west, the Hillary Montes reach for the skies, standing tall at three and a half kilometers. Travel south, and the Townsend Montes make their presence felt, 
boasting peaks that rise a staggering six kilometers above Pluto's surface. Looking for something even more bewildering? These towering giants, despite their rocky demeanor, are chiefly made of water ice, hardened like stone by Pluto's frosty embrace. Journeying further, an intriguing basin beckons, embraced by mammoth ridges of both ice and rock. This peculiar site has stories of its own. It whispers rumors of an ancient cryovolcano, with the encircling rock narrating tales of frozen eruptions from epochs gone by. Distinct from the radiant Sputnik Planitia, Tombaugh Regio presents a tableau reminiscent of Earth's shifting landscapes that have transformed through millennia. Journeying further eastward along Pluto's belt, the observer is met with a mesmerizing display, the maculas. These immense dark patches, spanning hundreds of kilometers, are reminiscent of mythical tales. Each macula boasts a name inspired by dark legends from various cultures. Balrog, for instance, echoes tales from realms shrouded in obscurity. Together, these darkened patches forge an impressive structure, the brass knuckles, embracing Pluto's midriff. They're interspersed with jagged mountain ranges and deep ravines, some of which stretch for unimaginable distances. Of all these shadowy patches, the Cthulhu macula stands out, demanding one's attention. Stretching from Tombaugh Regio, this expansive dark area rivals any other on Pluto, with its impressive 3000 kilometer expanse. It's almost like a dark canvas, absorbing much of the sunlight that graces it, particularly when juxtaposed against the glowing Sputnik Planitia. What makes these maculas so dark? Some believe it's the abundance of tholins, coupled with a storied history marked by impacts from space. The Cthulhu macula isn't just vast, it's diverse. The west is a sea of waves while its center is placid, almost serene. Venture east, and you'll find rugged mountains and deep craters punctuating its surface. But Pluto's mysteries don't end here. Venturing towards the north, the Lowell Regio sprawls out, a valley that holds Pluto's North Pole. One might expect this region to be bathed in shadow, but instead, it enjoys an unexpected luminance. Thanks to Pluto's unique tilt, its North Pole greets the sun head-on, basking in its warm embrace. Imagine Pluto. As it moves farther from the sun, its atmosphere thickens, tripling in density over three decades. The sun's gentle rays cause nitrogen ice on Pluto to evaporate. This vapor drifts poleward, adding to Pluto's atmospheric richness. Yet it's not just Pluto's distance or atmosphere that intrigues. The dwarf planet displays a distinctive orbital dance. Unlike many in our solar system, Pluto's orbit tilts noticeably. It performs cyclic oscillations around a fixed point, a dance guided by its significant moon, Charon. Sounding humorously like Charon, it isn't actually anything even remotely close. Speaking of Charon, this moon isn't just any satellite. With a mass of 1.52 times 10 to the power of 21 kilograms, it holds over 11% of Pluto's mass. This isn't a moon merely circling a planet. Instead, Pluto and Charon spin around a shared center of mass, their orbits tightly bound by gravity. This unique bond ensures that they always show the same face to each other, locked in an eternal gaze. But there's a stark difference. While Pluto has various terrains, Charon presents a darker face, sprinkled with water ice and specks of methane and nitrogen. Among all of Pluto's moons, Charon stands out as the largest, overshadowing others like Nix and Hydra. Smaller ones like Kerberos and Styx add to the diverse cosmic family, each predominantly made of water ice. And as with all great mysteries, not everything is revealed. The New Horizons spacecraft couldn't decipher all of Charon's enigmas. However, the visible landscapes it captured hint at the countless wonders waiting to be explored. To the south, there lies the vast Vulcan Plenum, stretching almost as wide as an average European nation. This massive region covers an impressive 400,000 square kilometers. Within this expansive realm stands Karen Kubrick Mons. Picture a mountain, 40 kilometers wide, reaching into the sky up to a staggering height of 4,000 meters. This majestic peak is surrounded by a deep, wide moat that plunges two kilometers down. Many whisper that Kubrick Mons was born from a cryovolcano, its birth possibly tied to underground reservoirs sinking the land around it. Moving north, 
The ground shifts and changes, introducing the rugged Oz Terra. Here, the Earth is scarred with countless craters and separated from Vulcan plenum by immense ledges and deep splits. The land dramatically rises and falls, changing by nearly a kilometer. Among the many wonders here, the Serenity Chasma steals the spotlight. It's a great trench, 200 kilometers long with its width dancing between 40 and 50 kilometers. If you dare look down, the depths go down a mind-boggling seven kilometers, hidden in dark, enigmatic shadows. Further into the north, closer to Karen's Pole, you'll find the mysterious Mordor Macula. This massive feature stretches out, covering a diameter of 475 kilometers. What caused this? Scientists are still debating. One idea is that gases from Pluto got trapped by Karen's gravity, settling at its poles. Over time, these gases might have turned into tholins, dark compounds that built up on Karen's icy face. Thank you for being with us. Make sure to watch the next video on your screen. It's fantastic.